the blue zones. Um, yeah, so I, I totally agree that science says that the environment is important, your social environment, your stress levels, cortisol we measure, I measure in my body, I try to keep that low. Now, it's, it's very clear that the data says that you need a social environment to live really long. Now, it can mean having a, a great partner you can rely on, or if not, or and have a, a pet that you come home to. These are all shown to be great for longevity. And actually, there's a study that's worth noting, which is that at Harvard, they followed, these were men, they followed them after World War I, I think it was, maybe it was World War II. Anyway, it was for their whole lifespan and looked at their health. And the one thing that was in common with the people that lived a long time was to have a reliable partner. And to me, that that's striking. You know, it wasn't just what they ate, how much they exercised, it was the partner that was important. Um, so yeah, I, I think being lonely really will accelerate aging. Places like blue, the blue zones, um, let's make an assumption that most people they're very laid back. They consume different food. It's a very different lifestyle. But there's also this sense that in these smaller communities, there might not be the same media consumption that we have in North America or in Europe or any of these um, any of these countries or on the continents where people almost get obsessed by media consumption, which is raising cortisol levels and you become consumed by it. We saw it happen with the pandemic. How much of what goes on in the blue zones do you think has to do with versus let's just say North America has to do with um, longevity? I think there's a lot to that, that your cortisol levels and possibly other molecules we haven't discovered yet are circulating in your body when you're on this, in this heightened uh, fright or flight state, which you know, based on my, my surveys of people that I meet reached its height um, during the Trump administration and the election. And since then, a lot of us, including myself, have gone cold turkey on consumption of the news. Um, and I've been, just speaking for myself, much healthier. My cortisol levels have gone down um, and my mental state is so much better. I even talk slower um, than I used to. I mean, a more zen-like state. But before it was, oh my goodness, how many people have died today? What's going to happen? World's going to blow that's not healthy at all. And I, it, I can easily imagine it to be true that that reduces the longevity of an entire country that's watching it versus, or at least communities that, that focus on it versus those that don't. And what, what you hear also from people who live a long time is that they don't worry about things and they don't consume huge amounts of media. And often they say it's their sense of humor that has gotten them through. Uh, and that's a common theme with these uh, centenarians. And at, actually it's one of the few things that's common. You know, often they, they smoke, they drink, they do bad things, but uh, being relaxed and having brushing off problems and not worrying is, is one of the things that they all share.